What is up guys and welcome back to another video. Holy crap my face looks really red right here, but We're down here at the stream to my house It's a little low today for the stream probably because we haven't had rain in a few days, but We're gonna I got a little special episode here for you guys, so today We're doing a little challenge this, so I found this rod in uh, my closet, and just look at this. I'll try to get this in frame. So say you say I'm throwing the racky rig, okay? And I tap it once. Look how wiggly it is. You can't really see because it's angle. But you you probably can't really see. But this rod is so sensitive. Like oh my god. Like I get one flick on it, it's just like I'm barely even moving my hand, and it's just going up and down. Without the sink on there, it was a lot more wobbly when I was like, and I, before I had the reel on there. But I just put this cheap reel I have on there, found in my, in my closet, my fishing closet. I just threw that one on here. It's not that good because it's missing uh, this piece right here. But, you know, I can work my way around that. But I'm going to try to catch a bass on this uh, really sensitive, wobbly rod and see if we can uh, see how it works. All right, so we're gonna fish for exactly an hour and a half here. I see a blue wheel, that's really cool actually. Because, uh, so the other day I go to plug in my external hard drive or, I forget what it's exactly called, but it's like those big hard drives that can hold like years of videos on there. It's like a hundred bucks. This, 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 I like this reel. Why don't I use this? So, I go to plug it in. It's gonna be so hard to set the hook, guys, because this rod's just so wobbly. It's so weird. I, if you guys want to know, I, I had no idea what the name or brand of this rod is. It has no info on it anywhere. It's just so weird. So weird. I got a fish, dude. Oh my god, I have a fish. Oh, oh my god, it got off, dude. Oh my god, oh my god. Dude. Why do I keep losing fish? Like, I, I can't catch fish on Sankos anymore. Is it this, these hooks I switched to? It must be these hooks. Like, it's pissing me off. That's like the six fish in a row I've lost on a Sanko. There we go. Dude, oh my god, I'm so done with these hooks. I'm switching the hook right now. Dude, I lost so many fish. All right. Excuse me. We're going to the next spot on the other side. Hopefully there's some bass over there, and hopefully we don't step on a snake or something. Go. Oh, my God, dude, that's so scary. All right, guys, so I tied on the Ned ring. We'll see if this works. Feels so weird. Cause you can't you can't feel the bait with this rod. You can't feel anything. The only thing you can feel is weight. And you gotta pray to fish when you set the hook, so let's just give it a try. Oh my god, that was a big one. That was a big fish. 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 Oh my god. That was a big fish, dude. There we go. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is a good fish. Oh yeah, it's a pickerel. I knew it. Get in here, baby! Woo! Oh, it snapped my line. No, no, you are not going in there. No, no. Dude, I knew that was a pickerel in a bit earlier. Dude, that was so sick. I don't have pliers though. Oh yeah, that's a 20 inch picker right there, dude. Oh, he snapped my line. Them sharp teeth. Whoa, no shaking, dude. There we go. On that, dude, that, on that rod, anything feels big. But this thing would've felt big anyway. So, we're gonna get 
nice slow-mo shot here. my god he got dirt all over me and the GoPro Jesus Christ all right so if you guys didn't watch the video when me and Cameron came here uh, like a week ago probably but there's a dead goose right there and now it's all bones and the feathers whatever the heck it is dude it's disgusting. I mainly, I'm mainly putting this part in the video for Cameron to show him how weird it looks now, but it's kind of cool too. Yeah, so it's, it's time for me to get out of here, but all together, um, this rod is absolutely trash. I never recommend buying a rod that does that. Like, who, what the heck is that? Ugly sticks are pretty flexible, but not like this, I don't know what the heck this is. It could be an ugly stick, but I have no idea. But it's super hard to set the hook. You lose a lot of bites, or they could be just my hooks so I was using earlier with the Sankos. I would have had like three bass and another fish, but caught that one decent pickerel. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.